Good day, everybody. It's your boy, Mr. Damon Banks, a.k.a. DJ Fine CEO of JCU. We are Jersey Max and JJ Diamonds, and I'm here with the homie Ray Katana. You. The Blue rock star. Blue rock star. <laughs> the building. What's good? You're right. I'm here. The homie hood rock star. I've been chopping it up for a minute, so we just going to tell y'all what we was talking about. So, Ray Katana, my brother. You're from New York. Yes. Upcoming. Yes. Rock star artist. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Rock star and hip hop. So, Let's just let's just start there. Let's start right there. Let's start with the fact that um, you call yourself the hood rock star. What do we, what do we start off with that? Uh, so it's just a uh, it's a moniker I gave myself uh, simply for the fact that I always liked the skate culture, the rock culture that was big for me growing up, and hip hop obviously. So it's like being in the hood, you know, you get all these guys that that want to be tough, that want to be hard. I didn't want to be that. I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be a rock star. Like I wanted the girls to have fun around me type shit. I didn't want to be somebody I'm not. I just want to be myself. So that's where really the hood rock star came from. Just being yourself and being your own person. Like that. Fact. So I just start off with um, finding your sound with rock and hip hop and then kind of collaborating them to now making the artist that you are now. Oh, it, it definitely took a while. Like it uh, took a, a while. Like uh, I've been rapping like as an artist put my music out there professionally since about 2017 uh but it took until now just about until 2019 i think my first real idea of the sound i wanted to go for was in 2019 i dropped a single called do what i want and that was really the first like uh rendition of my rock and hip-hop sound that i finally infused together so it took about two years two and a half years and we and on the side we saw my research some of my research and the mm-hmm. fact that you research um, the errors that you pertain to in your music, mm-hmm. but that also goes into your music video. Yeah. So now talk to me about your creative visuals. Well, for me, it's, it's, it's more about I gotta I gotta make you feel it. Like I gotta make you talk about it and feel it. So if we making a video, if we recording anything, I wanna look up how can I do this, how can I do that. Like like the last video I made, the all video, I took a lot of inspirations from Molly Crew, uh, Kiss, Brett Michaels. And I just did my research. I watched documentaries. I watched old videos. I replayed and replayed them. I did a lot of. I actually look at a lot of um, old MTV videos, man. MTV got a lot of old stuff, man. They had like the the even the yo MTV raps, the way they had certain skits, and the old MTV jams and how they did like they rock fest and everything like that. Beavis and Butthead is a lot another one where I watched those like skits they have because they got a lot of musicians in there. They got a lot of artists in there. And rock. Sometimes they had a couple like rap artists, but. I really do my my homework, so to say, before I really put my visual out there. Definitely. Now, like you said, you have a story behind your music. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you got through a lot of becoming as an artist and everything. Now you put that into your music. Mm-hmm. So now, how do you spread your word to the youth? You know what I'm saying? Letting them know that um, that you out here, that you can be different, you can be yourself. Well, you, like you said, spread my my word to the youth. I don't think spreading my word got to be just my word. I can spread my, my love, I can spread my peace, I can spread my fashion, I can spread my spill, my ideas. So it don't gotta just be be verbal. It's other ways you can show your action, you feel me? So it's like, damn, it's a holy moment right now. Yeah. I feel that. But um Yeah, so it's like just being able to, to really go ahead and uh you know express yourself in multiple ways. I I want kids to really look at me and say Hey, I don't gotta be the, the kid that sags my pants and sells drugs and be a rapper. I could be the kid that, that skateboards, that plays the guitar, that paints, you know, the kid that's gay, the kid that likes men. Like, I want people to not be afraid to be themselves. Because me, I know all circles. I know all areas of life. Everybody's different. Not one of us is the same. So why can't we all be ourselves, you know? So I just try to get that out there for them. We be talking about him being the skateboarder in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> for real. That's yeah. dope. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. That's, I want to say that's probably the biggest inspiration for me, skateboarding. Because, like, I was skateboarding at age seven. And I, my math ain't too good right now, but I, I think that's around, don't get me wrong, y'all, don't quote me. I want to say 05, 06 for me. I'm 23. But at that age, it was like, you know, nobody really was doing besides, I want to say, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne kind of really brought out the skinny pants thing, but even right before that, I was skateboarding. I was listening to a lot of, uh, Tony Hawk had the video games, the Tony Hawk Pro Skaters, then he had the underground. So I was big on those games and I wouldn't even play the games. What I'd do is I'd turn the game on and go to the soundtrack. And uh, this one we had MP3s and shit like that. I would download that soundtrack 
to my MP3 and just go outside this game. I just wanted to, because that was my release. That was me clearing my mind. It wasn't no, I didn't have to worry about peer pressure. I didn't have to worry about friends. It was just me and my boy. We just out there riding, you know? So it was just, that's really a vibe for me, man. And that's really what pushed the hood rock star from before I even knew it. And, and actually you brought up a really good point. The fact that it was your escape. Because mm -hmm. you told me that before he even bought sneakers, he bought skateboards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like before he even like thinking Facts. about getting shoes, I was like, for buying hundred fifty dollars shoes, hundred twenty dollars shoes, he's yeah. buying hundred fifty, two hundred dollars skateboards yeah. and everything. But the zoomies. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't give a fuck about shoes. I didn't really care about clothes. I didn't really care about that. That stuff wasn't nothing to me. Now it's more. I'm more into fashion. But growing up, I was. I was. I didn't have to have the most expensive pair of shoes. You know, I just wanted to pair of DCs because you know uh, Rob Deerdick had them on. You know, from Robin Big. So I wanted to be like him too. And this is like I wanted all my my. Uh, all my boards before I wanted sneakers. Like I had like three boards, real skateboards, and them shits cost like hundred thirty dollars to make. Real skateboards. I still got them in the crib, but I always, I always wanted my boards before anything. That came first. So, yeah, that's this is uh. How was it performing, brother? Like when you perform your tracks and everything for like just live audiences, like. Well, for for me is every you know everybody said do you get nervous? You get nervous every time you get up there because there's a bunch of people, but. The one thing I want you to leave with, I want you to leave talking about it. Like, I want you to leave and say, hey, that guy's out came to his show and this was that, da da da. But you gotta leave talking about me. You, you never, I never wanna have a show where the crowd is not into it or not in tune. So, I got a bunch of different stuff, man, that we working with. I'm, um, I'm actually gonna start bringing out UV lights to performances, to indoor performances. So, so I'll have, you know, the, the venue shut the lights off. And I'm the only thing glowing on stage. I want you to be, I want to feel like a Travis Scott, a Kanye. You come to my show and you come and see me and it's a whole experience. It's not just me on that stage just giving you a, nah, it's an experience. You're going to leave talking about, yo, we, we, we seen Rick and Thomas, like he took us to a whole nother place. Like it was lit. Like we got to go back. We got to go see him. So, you know, I want to, I want to give you that vibe where you're just talking about me when you leave. And that's just even with the, the music video that you recently dropped. Uh, June 7th, he dropped this all video. Mm -hmm. And inside the video, you can tell he has that that kiss feel, that and that rock star feel, but also that hip hop feel to it. So just tell me about the, the creative aspect of creating that that visual by itself, just all. Well, the inspiration, like I said, it came from one was Brett Michaels. I was watching like a We Love the '80s documentary, and they kept talking about neon, and I'm just looking like all oh, these '80s stars had a lot of neon. They was glowing up like. So that was the thing back then. I'm like, all right, let me get some neon in there. And then I watched uh, Kiss, and one of my favorite Kiss artists, you know, everybody, you know, they like Gene, because he got the tongue yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. But I kind of like, um, uh, what's his name? Stanley, Paul Stanley. Okay. okay. You know, and he's the one with the star. He's, 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 yeah, he's, he's the vocalist. He's one of the vocalists. So I always thought that star was dope. I'm like, hood rocks. So I'm like, yeah, let me, let me slap a, a green star, my neon star on my face. So that was one thing. But it's like I said, it's the research, man. Just going, going there, and and the visual for me was really going and do my homework. I wanted to make sure you felt like we back in the '80s again. You know, we back partying like it's '88. Like we partying hard with a Pepsi. <laughs> What's yeah. up? So that's what we got going on this year, man. I mean, summer's not over yet. No, you're still warming up. You got some things. You got some traveling you're doing. Yeah. Real soon and everything. So what, what else we got going on for the rest of the year, brother? Well, July 4th, I'm actually going to be performing at the Highlights Festival. That's over 2,000 people. Um, I'm going to be performing all. The hashtag for the song all is actually the song of the summer. You know, yeah. I, I got people calling it the song of the summer because that's how I feel like it's the song. It is the song of the summer. Uh, no matter what's coming out now, I got the, I think I do have the song of the summer because that, my song is a vibe, you know, it make you feel a certain way and it, it got that beat that just like, let's, let's party all summer long, let's just have a long summer night. I like that. Yeah. You heard it first, man, Ray Katana, we are Jersey Matt, yo, shout yourself out, brother Tom. Yeah, hood rock star, Ray Katana, you can follow me on every platform, at Ray Katana, that's two N's, R-A-Y-K-A-T-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A. hood rock star, the EP is coming out July 5th. So I got a performance July 4th at Highlights, the EP dropping July 5th, and I'm doing shows all over Jersey, New York, Connecticut this summer. So we just moving right now. Yeah. You ready to hear first, man? We are Jersey Magazine, Rick and Simon. Jersey. <laughs> Jersey turned out entertainment. Entertainment.